the departure of St. James, Bishop of Nisibis. On this day of the year 338 AD, St. James, Bishop of Nisibis, departed. He was born in the city of Nisibis and was brought up there. He was Syrian by race. Each early in his youth, he chose the monastic life. He wore sackcloth. He wore, he wore sackcloth made of hair protect him for the heat of summer and the cold of winter. His food was composed of the vegetation on the earth, and his drink on, was on the water. For this reason, he was very thin, but his soul was illumined and full of grace. He was worthy to receive the gift of prophecy and the performing of miracles. He also was able to foretell the future and he advised the people of what would happen to him in advance. His miracle was numerous. One day, he saw some, promis pro some promiscuous woman chasing without shame by a spirit of water, and they had left the and they had let their hair down to take a bath. He prayed to God, and the water of the spring dried up, and the woman's hair became white. Become white. When the woman apologized to him and repent and repented what they had done, he prayed to God, and the water came back to the spring, but the hair remained white. Another miracle occurred when he was passing by certain people who stretched a man on the ground and covered him as though he was dead. They asked the saint for some money for his burial. When they returned to the man, they found him dead. They came back to the saint and repented for what they had done. Saint James prayed to God, and the man came back to life. When, he, when his pictures became widely known, he was chosen to be a bishop over the city of Nisibis. He subheaded the flock of Christ very well and protected his people from the Aryan wolves. He was one of bishops who was attended the first universal council at Nicaea in 325 AD, 325 AD and agreed on the excommunication and exile of Arios. When Shapur, the Persian king, came, and surrounded the city of Nisibis with his army, God, in answer to the prayer of Saint James, of Saint James, brought swarms of mosquitoes and wars over their horses and, uh, and elephants, which caused a, a great stampede, and then and the animals fled, uh, fled away. The king of Persia then became fear, became fearful, and he fled with his army, and the siege was ended. When the saint completed his good course, he departed in peace. His prayers be with us, and glory be to our God forever. Amen.